morning on day 15th of July. I've been staying here in Lara Cafe. Had a great night's sleep there. After coming over that huge mountain pass, high mountain pass yesterday. Anyways, family made us a great dinner yesterday. Now we're gonna have a breakfast, even though we're not that hungry. I think we've got a bit of altitude sickness. Feeling good today? Breakfast now and wake up, maybe some cookie tea, and we'll see yeah. what the hell, what coffee maybe. Yeah. We don't drink so much coffee in this region, though, we from a man yesterday. It's in the, in the jungle, and here they drink tea. So mm. we'll yeah. Didn't expect that. <laughs> but uh, this way to the breakfast. It's like another sunny day, but not the sun hasn't got onto the house here because it's so mountains around us now are so high. We can add a little fact. We met some uh, young people from Texas at the camping site yesterday and they had some coffee and they gave us a little bag so we had something to survive on. Things we can't get Peru coffee. So now we have Texas coffee, I think it is a Mexico coffee. <laughs> so into the kitchen here. Oh, we just had a great breakfast here. The owners here, Carlos and his wife, they really know a lot about everything in the world. We can talk to them for hours and hours and hours. And now we have to get on the road. We'd like to stay here for a few days. But it's funny coming here to something that looks like a place in the middle of nowhere, but they care a lot about what we eat and to get the right food for. We do some much physical activities. They say, oh, it's really important that we give you like some healthy food to make your body strong and your mind strong to cope with all the physical activity. So that's uh, that's funny that we should experience that here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really know a lot. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They could uh, talk all day and tell us about, you know, everything about all countries in the world. And uh, yeah. it's like so, an education coming here for your breakfast. Yeah, and funny again to hear how much mm -hmm. food like and physical activity, how much it affects the brain. So. Very funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go and get packed away. Here they are, Carlos and his wife. Yeah. Okay, it's had a great stay here. Time to get on the road down to Yanomar. I think it's the next town. We're going to get some supplies there, get stocked up. Might be walk camping this evening. So oh, another day of glorious sunshine. It's amazing. When we came down here yesterday, it was dark and uh, extremely cold hands we had, and we were freezing cold. And uh, this morning, now uh, sun is out, it's another glorious day. Well rested, ready to go again. Interesting to see how people live up here in the mountains here. High up in the Andes Mountains. Hola. Hello. Buenos dias. Great thing about cycle touring, you just get a chance to come through all these villages that you never get to see if you go to the main tourist destinations. Yanama down there, so we're heading now, get some supplies before we head off back into the wilderness. 
We're just entering the village here of Yanama. Hola. Wow, looks like the gravel road turns into sealed road. Oh, it's the first smooth road we've cycled on for oh, oh, three or four days. Oh, it's smooth. <laughs> I just said the same thing. Oh, you don't appreciate this. This is like this every day back home. Yeah, this looks like a lovely town here, Yanama. Wow, I didn't expect this. What a nice place. Unexpectedly come to this really, really nice town and a really, really nice Plaza de Armas. You never know what we're gonna find. No, never expected that. Really, really nice place. This is the nicest Plaza de Armas we've seen so far. We're probably gonna see lots of these, but very, very peaceful, quiet town here. So, just having a lunch here. Grooming, checking. <laughs> this is the restaurant for lunch here. It's a Yanama, extremely steep here. You can hardly ride, we have to push up here. But it's not the easiest route out of Yanama. What? What's, what's going on? Um... The road we're on now is 621. <laughs> Steep climb out of Yanama there. I think we just came from down there just uh, 30 minutes ago or so. Oh, that was steep. We am now just trying to get to the wild campsite spot we've found an aisle but under before it goes dark. So, the spot that's marked on my Oberlander. We can do a bit of wild camping here. That's the first wild camping we've done here in Peru. See if it's going to be a good spot. Wild camping today. We're having a quick wash, quick in a quick stream before we put the tent up. But the view is pretty amazing here. It's going to be nice in the morning here. Wild camping today, so Meta has to open the kitchen herself. We're gonna just chop some vegetables and it's gonna fry on the pan. That's, uh, that's the menu for today. Yeah. So, but the fun fact is that we bought a lighter in Lima and apparently it doesn't work in the mountains. But we knew that before we came up here, so we bought one down from the town and that works because otherwise we would have been here without light. So Not much is also, we would have been. Yeah, we bought that as well now. Yeah, so we had a backup. Yeah. yeah. Potatoes doing fine. And if I could show you the stars up here, it's amazing. The moon here is upside down. I think my iPhone can focus on it. <laughs> 